Hello guys, welcome to DTWG Deep Prep. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be treating probability. So I'm going to be treating everything under probability. And this is the first video where I'm going to be taking theoretical probability and um, experimental probability. Then the next video, I'm going to be taking dependent uh, probability and independent probability probability okay so make sure you watch out for the next video all right and if this is your first time on this channel please click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be instantly notified when i upload an educational video for you to help you pass your ged test all right please please this is a fairly new channel please support me by clicking the subscribe button and uh i'm going on this journey to make sure i complete the math syllabus for you uh by god's grace before the end of this year to help you still get that ged this year 2020 it's not too late okay don't postpone or procrastinate um uh, your dream till 2021 you can still get it this year there's still a lot of time all right and i'm with you so please please do click the subscribe button share this channel with your friends family loved ones okay and give this video a thumbs up okay so um and also don't forget um, uh, maybe after the video please check the video description box for several things I have there that would support you in your exam like a Facebook group the link there to help you you know if you need motivation from a community of people also preparing for the GED uh, we have about I think 700 uh, members there now so you can feel free to join and there are other things there to support you in your GED test okay so let's quickly get on to today's class which is on probability so what's probability you know probability it's um it's all about uh, telling if something is likely or unlikely to happen okay like is it is it likely to snow um during let's say december january yes it is likely to snow because that's when that's the winter season okay so it's likely to snow then and um let's say which other which other thing can i quickly use that uh, is close uh, can be close i think that snow is, is is um is a good example so that's like the probability of um of it snowing around december and january is quite high okay so it is likely for it to snow Gen uh, january february march okay snow quite heavily all right so and the uh, probability of any event happening like for it to snow for there to be rain for it to be sunny any event happening under the um under the sun on the planet at the probability of that event happening is between one and zero okay in maths this is how it's being calculated in probability okay so the probability of anything happen it will be between one and zero like if you said it's likely to rain um in um, january february march the probability of that situation occurring is what one don't worry you would understand why i say between one and zero very soon when we treat several examples i'm going to be treating about i think about six practice test examples on gd and just um be rest assured that you would really really understand probability by god's grace before the end of this video okay so so likely to happen is a, prob a probability of one then is it unlikely to uh snow right now yes it's unlikely in fact the event of that thing happening is zero it's impossible why should it snow now except maybe you know we have um definitely we have carbon emissions and all that maybe um green ozone layer being depleted then you see snow then that is a rare possibility okay but for let's just say nothing like that happens right now it's quite unlikely to snow the probability for snow to fall right now is what zero that event is zero that is, is impossible okay so in maths probability can only be expressed okay in numbers between what zero and what one okay and uh in probability the formula is probability in maths is just quite straightforward for theoretical probability okay let me just um shorten i'm going to shorten this word probability here okay for theoretical probability the formula is just the ratio of your favorable favorable outcome over what the possible outcomes 
Okay, this is the formula for probability, the ratio of what your favorable outcome over your possible outcome. And for theoretical probability, just simply uh, your simple, this is just a, a theoretical probability, it's just the same as your simple probability, okay? Simple probability, I'm going to uh, abbreviate this word probability here, okay? So where your favorable outcome is the event that we're interested in. All right, favorable outcome is what? The event we are interested in, event interested in. Don't worry, I'm going to treat an example now and you will understand. And the possible outcomes are all the possible events that can occur. All possible events that can occur. All possible events that can occur. Okay, and we have an example. We have this example. It says a game. Okay, let me just erase this. It says a game has 50 wooden tiles. Okay, so a game has 50 wooden tiles. There are 50 of um, different wooden tiles. Okay, players draw tiles to spare words. Okay, a players draw what tiles to spare words. If 20 of the tiles are marked with vowels. 20 of these 50 wooden tiles are marked with what vowels? What is the probability of drawing a vowel from the ties? Now you can see this is a, just a simple theoretical probability. I'm going to come to um, experimental probability with an example. I'll explain it with an example, but just relax now. So let's solve this question. So it says a game has 50 wooden tiles. So we have 50 of these wooden tiles. Let's say we just have several uh, uh, tiles. Uh, boxes 50 players draw tiles to spare words so just like remember like a scrabble so they have to draw tiles to spare words now if 20 of these tiles 20 of them are marked with what vowels now what is the probability now what are the chances what is the likelihood you can see the meaning of the word probability what's the likelihood or probability of drawing a vowel from the ties now, from our formula for probability, which says favorable outcome over possible outcome. Now, what I always try to do for uh, in, and when, I, when I'm teaching tutoring someone, and by the way, I do one-on-one -on -one tutoring. If you're interested, you can send me a mail. I'll leave the um, mail address in the video description box of this video. That's if you still need further um, tutoring. Okay, so I first of all say your possible outcomes. Now, what is the total possible outcome of this event? It says the game has a total of what 50 wooden tiles. So the possible outcome is equal to what? 50. So have that possible outcome first. Now, favorable outcome, as I said, is the event we are what interested in. Is that not it? Our possible outcome is all possible events that can occur, which in this question is what 50. Now, what is the event we're interested in? Our favorable outcome is what? A vowel, where the, what's the probability of the question asks us. Now, the question is favoring, favoring, favoring what? A vowel is asking how, what is the probability of drawing what? A vowel from the ties. And how many vowels do we have from these 50 wooden tiles? We just have what, 20 vowels from our question. So our favorable outcome here is what? 20. So this is what we're going to get 20 over 50. That's the probability of drawing a vowel. Okay, so we have 20 over 50 and here we can reduce this and in reducing 20 can, uh, sorry, 10 can go here two times and 10 would go here five times. So we have what, two over five. So this is the probability of drawing what, a vowel. You can see that two over five is not greater than one. Are you getting me? That's where this statement I made comes in place. You will see that in every of the examples we do, we can never get the answer greater than one. Okay, you're going to see that. All right, so let's go on to another example. Now, our next example says a spinner. This is a spinner. Okay, you know what a spinner is? Something like this. Okay, has five equal sections, colored has five equal section. Uh, let's say it has this. Okay, and 
is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so a spinner has five equal cells. Oh, it's even said equal. So uh, I didn't get this drawing right. Okay, pardon me, please. Okay, colored either red, white, or blue. Okay, colored either what red, white, or blue. All right, it has uh, five um, equal uh, sections colored either red, white, or blue. Now, it says after 40 spins, a player has the following results. Now, this question is under your what? Experimental probability. Okay, where experimental probability, you know, in probability, whether it's experimental, whether it's dependable, independable, whether it's um, theoretical, the baseline formula for probability is what your favorable outcome over your what possible outcome never forget this formula the ratio of the favorable outcome over your possible what outcome that's the formula for probability okay but here why this is called uh, an example as an experimental probability is because you have results now in our other um in the first example we did when there was nothing like a trial or experiment being performed okay it was just random but here it's not random the, it has been spinned already by a player and you have results so it's experimental now the question say what is the experimental probability of not spinning blue on the spinner now this is asking the experimental probability of not spinning blue on the spinner first of all from our formula what is the uh, possible outcome what's the possible outcome for this question for this question i mean it says a spinner has five equal sections colored this this that after 40 spins a player has the following results now let's count all this to see if it is equal to this 40 so here we have one two three four five here we have this is five here we have uh this is a five one two three four five six seven this is seven this is one, two, three, four, five. This is another five here. 10, 15, 20, 25, and 25, one, two, three. This is what, 28. And if we add, all, add this up, this is five plus seven, which is what, 12. And 12 plus 28 is what, uh, this will give us zero and 40. So we have 40. So the total possible outcome for this event is what, 40. Okay, so now what is our favorable outcome? From our question now, we'll get our favorable outcome. It says, what is the experimental probability of not, look at this word here, of not spinning a blue on the spinner. So, of not spinning anything, of not spinning a blue. Okay, that's when we'll cancel out all blue and what is left he would spin will be a, what, a red and a white. So, what is the total frequency of uh, him spinning a red and a white, which is not blue? Okay, it is what, 5 plus 7. And what is 5 plus 7? That is 12. So, our favorable outcome is what, 12. Okay, so we have 12 over 40. So, here you just write uh, probability of not spinning a blue. So, it's what, 12 over 40. And here we can reduce, right? Can't we reduce? We can reduce here. Uh, 4 will go here how many times? 3. And 4 will go in 40 how many times? 10 times. So we have our answer as what? 3 over 10. So this is our answer. The probability of not spinning uh, a blue. Okay? So this is the answer. So let's go to the next question. It has 6 equal sections. Okay? It has 6 equal sections. Okay, numbered what? 1 to 6. So if we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So it now says, what is the probability of spinning either a 5 or a 6? So what is the probability of spinning either a 5 or a 6? So, what is our possible outcome here? Our total possible outcome for this event is what? It says from a spinner has six equal sections numbered from one to six. So, we have six 
possible outcome it's only six possible outcomes on this spinner we can get so our possible outcome is what six then it says what's the probability of spinning either a five or a six that's either a five or a six that's we have one two so our favorable outcome is what two so we have two so our ratio here favorable of our possible uh, possible outcome is what two over six and then uh, we can reduce this to uh, two we go here one and two in six is what three so we have our answer as what one over three so this is the answer all right so uh the, what's our next question our next question says a movie theater sells 180 adult tickets and 60 children's tickets to a movie as part of a special promotion, one ticket will be chosen at random with the winner. As part of a special promotion, one ticket will be chosen at random and the winner will receive a prize. What is the probability that the winner will be a child? Okay, so this is theoretical probability also. So what is the probability that the winner will be a child? Now, what is the total possible outcome for this event? Now, it says the, a movie theater sells 180 adult tickets and 60 children's tickets to a movie. Now, the possible outcome of this event will be what? I know someone will just quickly go and say 180. No, it is wrong. The total possible outcome is the total number of what movie tickets what sold, which is what 180 plus what 60. And what is 180 plus 60? What do we have? We have a zero here. We have 8 plus 6 to give us 14. So we'll put down a 4 and carry what a 1. And 1 plus 1 is what 2. So we have our total ticket as what 240. So we have here a possible, remember the formula for probability, favorable outcome over what possible outcome. Don't forget this formula, okay? So our possible outcome for this event is what, 240. Now what's our favorable outcome? From our question here, we'll get our favorable outcome, which is what? What is the probability that the winner will be a child? So we're looking at uh, the total number of tickets that the child children have which is what 60 uh tickets so the probability that we are going to pick a child will be this we are going to have 60 divided by the total number of what tickets which is what we have 60 over 240 here what can we reduce this zero can cancel out the zero and six here will go one and six in 24 will go what four times so we have reduced this to one over four so this is the probability uh, that a child will win, okay? I always like to write this out, just in case it's a theory question, sorry, so it, you, you understand this. Okay, let's quickly move on to our next question. So we have this question here, it says, uh, we should use this information for these two questions. Now it says, a deck of cards is marked with the following symbols. So we have a deck of cards here, a deck of 12 cards marked with the following symbol so the first question says if a card is chosen at random what is the probability of selecting a diamond okay so what this are uh, a favorable outcome will be the total number of diamond cards okay so uh here we have what is our probability ratio our possible outcome our total possible outcome is what 12 because we have how many cards one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have 12 here. And what is a favorable outcome? It said, what's the probability of selecting what? A diamond. So how many diamonds do we have here? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have what? 6 over 12. And when we reduce this, we're going to get 6 here will go 1, and 6 in 12 will go 2 times. So we have 1 over now you can see your question here is in percentage so it means we must convert this to percentage okay and what is one divided by two one divided by two or the best way to just convert this to percentage is just to multiply by what hundred okay and when we multiply by hundred we have one over two times hundred two will go here one times and two would go here remember the percent sorry and two will go here 50 times so in percentage we have what 50 percent and our right option here is option c 
Okay, so the next question says, if a card is chosen at random, what is the probability of selecting something other than a club? So you can see this, something other than a club. That is probability of not selecting a club. That's what this question means. Okay, so here, definitely our possible outcome is still 12 because the total cards here we have is what, 12? So what is our favorable outcome? So it's something other than a club. All right. So let's count um, the other cards that are not clubs. So we have a diamond here. One, two. This is a club. We're not going to count it. We have three. This is a heart. We're going to count it. We have four, five. We're not going to count this two. So we have six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this has paid. So we have nine. So total number of cards that are not clubs is what nine. So we have a favorable outcome as what nine. So here we can reduce this by saying three would go here how many times? Three times and three would go here how many times? Four times. So while our final answer is what three over four. So this is the answer. And where's our right option? Yeah, our right option is option A. This is three over four. So this is our right option here option a okay so you can see we've done several examples and you've noticed that our probability always falls between zero and one you can see three over four is between zero and one okay let's go on to i think this this is another this is the final question we're going on to now all right okay so this is our final question here on the probability theoretical and experimental before we go to independent and dependent probability okay so we have here it says erin flipped a coin 40 times and made this table to show how many outcomes were heads and how many were tail you can see this is experimental because it's done we already have results okay we already have the results of the trials. So he flipped the coin 40 times. This is the number of times. This is the total number of trials. That's our possible outcome. Okay. Now, um, he has a table that shows heads and shows tail. Okay. So we have how many heads here? This is uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, then 5. This is 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we have 24 here. Okay. And this is 5, 10, 15 plus this one we have 16 so 16 here so we have 24 heads and 16 tails when we add this up together we're going to get 40. all right so our question says based on Aries data what is the experimental probability of getting tails on a coin flip so pro experimental probability of getting what tails so our favorable in this question our favorable outcome is um, the total number of tails gotten okay and so it is equal to our probability ratio is what our favorable outcome of our possible don't forget this formula please our favorable outcome over possible outcome okay so our favorable outcome here is what 40 as we've said and our uh, sorry possible outcome is 40 as we've said and our favorable outcome is number of tails which is what 16 so we have 16 here so let us re reduce this uh it can go here how many times two times and it would go in 40 how many times five times so well our answer here would be reduced to what two over five so what's our answer here our answer is what the probability of getting heads uh sorry tails on a coin flip is what two out of five so this is the right option option d two over five now the final question here says based on aries data what is the experimental probability of getting heads on a coin flip okay this is also quite easy what's our possible outcome is still what 40 and our favorable outcome it says here on of getting what heads and the total uh, experimental trials outcomes for head is what 24 so we have 24 so 24 divided by 40 so here we have to reduce this okay um, 8 can go here how many times 3 times and 8 will go here how many times 5 times so we have 3 over 5 as our answer and what's the right option here that is option A so 3 out of 5 that's the answer so thank you so much uh, for staying to the end of the video I know it's quite long or uh, lengthy but I know um, if you uh, watch this video to the end you would really really understand probability and how to solve questions on that probability so thank you stay tuned to DTWGED prep all right so uh, don't forget also 
to subscribe um give this video a thumbs up share this video with your friends family and loved ones and also don't forget that jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he is the way he is the truth he is the life it's the one that's going to lead us to life everlasting. So he is always with you and he will give you joy and peace. You just need to come unto him, O ye that labor and are heavy laden, and he would give you rest. All right, thank you from DTW Tutorials. You are destined to win. See you in our next video.